Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my collective. This is for all signs and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. This is a no contact, no communication or low communication reading to see what your person is feeling and thinking, to see what spirit has for you in this connection and any guidance spirit has for you. So if you're not interested in knowing about your past, you have moved on already. Please check out your collective love readings to manifest the love that you are worthy and deserving of also. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, if you could please guide me with no contact. What is my person thinking and feeling? The person that I want to know, the person on my mind, or am I on their mind? What is going on in this connection? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have moving, moving in together, getting a new way, uh, getting a new home going away, a sense of moving, maybe this person has moved on, you know, or you had, you were living together and you had to change homes. And that was very, very difficult. Um, you know, that separation, just they're not in the home anymore, something along those lines. I have partying, staying out all night, having a good time, wanting to play the field, wanting to be single, wanting to see, you know, the other side. I have a surprise coming, um, meeting somebody or a blast from the past. So is this person getting tired of their new life? Is this person getting, you know, it's not as much fun as they thought it was going to be, you know, it gets old pretty fast, you know, especially somebody who was in a loving relationship, it gets old pretty fast to be out there and just kind of being single again. Um, so a little bit of a blast from the past and, I feel trapped, a tough situation, and I feel like I can't move on. That could be you. That could be them. Um, this is a difficult situation, and there's something going on. Maybe there was a reason that we couldn't move forward in, in our relationship for some reason. Um, feeling trapped. I, you know, nobody wants to feel trapped. Nobody ever wants to feel like I can't move on. Let's get a couple more of these. Spirit, what do you have for us? I have money. Money are an, is an issue. Okay. Trying to figure things out, you know, especially if one of you has left the house and you're trying to figure out what, what, you know, what we're going to do next. Where do I go? Where am I staying? They might be staying with a friend or a family member temporarily right now. So it could be very, very difficult. I feel chained. I feel tied down. I felt anchored. I felt trapped. So if that's what they said to you, if they said, I felt like I couldn't do what I wanted to do, or I wanted to do something else, you know, they, they had to sow their oats still, um, then that's something that they had to do. A gift of love, a token of affection, embracing what we have. So, you know, there's always two sides, spirit saying, there's always this side of, you know, when it was good, it was good. And that's what we remember. And that's what we hold on to. And then I always, uh, I feel like something through somebody threw something into this mix where all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they said, I feel, um, I feel trapped. And they're saying bottom of the deck, I have unsure about this connection, confusion and mixed signals. But at the same time, we could be really happy together. So why is this person giving you mixed signals? You know, it's, 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 they don't know what they want is what spirit's saying. And, and they're putting you in a situation where um, you're either waiting for them to decide what they want. You see it clearly spirit is saying, so I've got some mixed signals when it's good. It's good. When it's bad, it's bad. Something like that. Somebody who's giving you, you know, definitely mixed signals about what they want. Almost like a sense of I'm holding on to you because I don't want to lose you, but I also don't want to be all in, which isn't fair to you, which is not fair to you. They've got to make a decision. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. I'm so grateful Spirit has guided you here. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe, comment below. Spirit, share with me this sense of confusion. Where is this confusion coming from? Money issues, or feeling trapped, feeling like they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. I have a queen of cups. I have a knight of swords. 
I have a seven of swords betrayal of some kind. So that could be at the heart of this. And I have an ace of cups. So there's definitely a feeling of hurt for, for sure with that seven of wands coming in. But I also have a lot of thoughts to them falling in love with you, being in love with you, um, realizing that they're in love with you also. So the person who strayed, the person who, um, I'm going to say it this way, the third party um, wasn't worth losing you, okay? Um, that's what happened, I think. And, and I feel like they're realizing it, you know, like I, if I had known that, you know, I'd get caught or the truth would come out, it wasn't worth losing you. And... I feel like they're doing some backpedaling now and, you know, whatever their excuse was, if they said, I felt trapped, I wanted to feel single, it was exciting. I, I don't care. There's no excuses for it right now, but it's, it's a feeling of now, where do we go from here? Because if this person is realizing that, you know, I was a fool to lose you, um, eight of pentacles, I'm going to have to work a lot harder to win you back because there's definitely a feeling of um, Ten of Cups at the bottom of my deck. I, I'm still having hopes and dreams that we'll end up together. I'm still having hopes and dreams that, you know, we could be together. But if this third party interfered in Ace of Wands, I do feel like you <laughs> I'm going to put it this way. You know, the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And they're realizing it, okay? The, per, the third party wasn't you. And it wasn't worth losing you. And now, all of a sudden, there's like all this backpedaling happening with either they didn't mean anything, it wasn't what you thought, um, but it was hurtful, it was painful, it was lying, it was cheating, it was something like that. And um, not for all of you, but for some of you, I'll get, just remember, these are general readings. So for some of you, that third party interference ruined, ruined a beautiful thing. I'm going to say it that way. Um, I just want loyal companionship. I want to be, I want somebody that could be your feelings. I want somebody that's loyal to me. I need loyalty. And if this person lost your trust, then that's something that we're really, really struggling with. This time has taught me so much. This time in separation, the number 24 has taught me so much. I think it's taught them what they really are missing. Okay. If they're sleeping on somebody's couch because they can't be with you in bed with you, um, it's showing them that you are not accepting of this behavior. You're not going to just forgive and forget. There's got to be um, they're going to have to work a hell of a lot harder to win you back. I have the number 28. I need you to tell me what to do. This feeling of you've got to show me what it is that you want. How do I fix this is coming into me. Um, they don't know how to fix it. Um, how do I fix this? You know, it, it's just a, they don't know. They don't know how to, how to fix, fix you, fix this hurt, fix this pain. I wanted you the moment I saw you. So I don't think that they've stopped um, wanting you. I don't think that they've stopped their attraction for you. If anything, it's grown deeper because it's they've realized that their feelings are connected. It's not just a sexual relationship that, that they have just lost or pushed away the best thing that's ever happened to them. Um, unconditional, I'll always forgive you. So are you ready to forgive? I guess I'm going to say that. Are you ready to forgive? Is this something that, um, you know, it, it, can we forgive? And bottom of the deck, I have the number 42. I'm embarrassed. I feel like I've screwed up too much. I feel like I, you know, I can't fix this at this point or you'll never forgive me. Something along those lines. These are the most difficult um, no contacts when there's definitely betrayal or there's lies involved because you just lose that trust and you just keep questioning yourself like what's going to be different the next time spirit tell me more about their feelings independence curiosity 
I feel the independence. I'm curious as to what you're doing. I feel you pulling away from me. I feel the um, your need to be independent right now, alone right now. I see that you're trying to save yourself. I get it. You're saving yourself. You push me away. You are trying to just take care of yourself. Take a deep breath. Spirit just said. Um, new direction. Okay. Um, can you count on me? Okay. It, it's a feeling of... Uh, can you count on me? And you might not feel like you can count on this person anymore. And that's, they could be coming back and saying, I'm sorry, and I want you back. And we need to talk and we need to put this behind us. And you may be saying, I'm just trying to save myself right now. And I'm not sure whether I can do this. So slow and steady. They're saying, don't rush it. The answers will come to you. If you don't have the answers yet, if you don't know what your feelings are in this connection, you have to decide for yourself what's best for you. So very, very difficult, um, very difficult because, you know, do you stop loving somebody just because you're mad at them? No. <laughs> You can be really, really mad at somebody, really upset with somebody, but you still love them. Let's see what else is they're saying. I've got heaviness, hit rock bottom, down on the dumps, uh, heaven burden, heaven burdens, um, you know, heavy burdens, um, a sense of heaviness, right? My heart is heavy. I'm down. I'm depressed. I'm I'm not the same person. I'm I'm different without you. Everybody's noticing it. Um, you know, like, what have I done? What did I do to my life? Like I threw my life and my relationship away for, for no good reason. Flying away, moving forward, pulled away. I can feel you pulling away. Um, I can feel you, you know, wanting to be free from me. So you could be the one that's saying, I just don't know how I'm going to trust you. And you have to decide can you forgive and forget and move on? Or are you still upset, revengeful, wanting payback, not having it better, okay? Being bitter. You could have resentments. You could be really, really angry with whoever the third party is. You may know who the third party is. It could be a friend or a coworker or somebody, a neighbor, somebody that you actually knew. Um, so you could have a lot of resentment and anger over this third party situation. Um, I'm just going to say there's a lot of hurt and there's a lot of healing that needs to take place as well. And a passenger passing through. OK, feeling my energy, you know, right now, I feel like I just have to get through something. I have to move through this. I have to feel like this is going to pass. And until I start to feel a little better about this whole situation, you might not even know what you want. And that's why they're saying, like, um, what do I do to fix this? And you might not have the answers to that. They might keep asking you that. And you may not have the answers to that. But if they're starting to come back and asking for apologies and wanting to talk, let's ask spirit if that's that's the direction this is headed. Um, can we repair this connection? I have a knight of wands. So there's still passion. They still are attracted to you. A seven of swords. We keep remembering. It's like, I, but yeah, you were attracted to somebody else. Also, I just can't. I'm having a really hard time forgetting. So for some of you, you may have to walk away. Um, this person is looking to try again. Somehow they still feel like um, we could be together. I still feel like you're the one that I, uh, I'm supposed to be with or I want to be with in a sense. So were they foolish? Were their actions ridiculous? Were they immature? Were they selfish? I'm going to say probably yes. Um, and, you know, now they're they're kind of facing the consequences of their actions. But whoever this third party interference was, it wasn't worth losing you. And that's what they are struggling with. I have a lover's card. You know, like this was, you know, like I still feel like I'm supposed to be with you. And you could still be feeling the same way, even though you're hurt. You could still be saying, I'm, I know I'm supposed to be with this person, but I'm just so mad. I'm so angry. I'm so disgusted. Um, I'm so hurt by their behavior in some way. 
um, that, you know, maybe you just need more time, spirit said, until you um, some of the bitterness and some of the anger subsides, I guess, um, the moon, you know, and just kind of releasing the fear of what do we go do, do next or how hard is it going to be to repair the damage? Um, you know, people go through a lot. People will can repair a lot of relationships. And it depends on, you know, if you're willing to forgive and forget, can you rebuild and be more secure again? Or are you always going to be worried that this person is going to, you know, turn around and do the same thing? And, and you're just constantly like fighting your own feelings with, you know, what's going to happen in this connection? Can you trust again? Spirit just said like that is that is the that is the big question on the table. Um, that's coming into me as, you know, kind of a, a trying trial run with this page of, you know, we're supposed to be together and let's give this kind of a trial run and see how we feel like a, a second chance and um, a little bit of a feeling of I may, might be making the biggest mistake of my life, but um, but I do want to feel like I could be in a more secure connection with this person. I do want to feel like we could have a future together. I do feel like um, I could, you know, look at the bottoms of the deck. I have an ace, a, a six of wands, three of wands. Like I, I could really, I can imagine that we could have a beautiful connection. You know, it all depends on the promises. It all depends on the hurt. It all depends on, you know, is this person going to be honest with what is going on with them? And was this a one time, you know, mistake energy or um, is this person going to continue to give you mixed feelings with I want to know what's going on? I, I see that we could be really happy but they're embarrassed and they're ashamed of their actions. Um, I see you in everyone. You're the one that I'm thinking about. I was all up in my head, but I do see clearly now. So they're starting to realize what they've done. I'm just going to say that like consequences of their actions are starting to really come through. I know this is true love. I know what my feelings are for you. I know I love you. I know I hurt you. Um, I, I, it's just the sense of how do I fix this? I wish I could be what you need. I wish I could have been stronger. I wish I didn't do what I did, I guess. I'm focusing on work because I'm trying to forget you or this situation or how to make this better. I wish we could start over. You know, I'm starting to see it more clearly. I wish we could start over. You know, it, sometimes we, they, that's what they want, but it might, might not be what you want. It might not be, you might not be able to trust this person again. You, you know, it's nice to know what they're thinking and feeling. It's nice to know that they're hurting, um, that, you know, they're, they're facing the consequences, that they feel the pain. Um, I don't feel comfortable opening up. Like if you keep asking, you know, like, why did you hurt me? Why did this happen? You know, they don't want it. They don't really have an answer to those questions. I'm letting you go because I love you. You may be saying, let me go. I can't do this anymore. You really hurt me this time. So if you haven't been hearing from this person, they may be respecting you um, because you said, don't call me. Don't talk to me. It's over. I can't do this anymore. Um, I just can't seem to let you go. I'm going to say that I'm going to say that for whatever reason, I'm going to say on both sides that there's a sense of I wish we could start over. And I think that on both sides, you both feel like I just don't want to let this go. But somewhere in between is this interference, this hurt, apologies, forgiveness, repair, healing, you know, so there's a lot, there's a lot that has to happen in between. So but for now, for today, let's do this. Let's pray for you both that there's clarity in the situation. And that if spirit wants you both to be together, and you're meant to be together, that spirit gives you an opportunity to talk 
and to communicate and to express what you both need to say so that you do have an opportunity to start healing. So let's put this out into the universe. I pray for you both. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please um, check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.